All right, guys, so it's Friday night. I'm so proud of us. We made it the whole week. Um, so this morning I gave you this guy. Um, and when you colored these in, just these eggs here, you got a number. So if you haven't done that yet, please pause the video because you've made it this far and I no cheating, all right? So if you did this, you would have revealed the number, drum roll please, 10. All right, so that was the number that you were looking for. If you found the number 10 on your Clue Master Sheet, you would have gathered nails, all right? So nails, and you would put nails in your Easter basket. This is not looking like any Easter basket I've ever collected before, by the way. There's like no chocolate, no stuffed, well, we did collect a stuffed animal, so that's good. Um, all right, so we're gonna move on. I told you this morning about a man, right? We've been talking about the disciples and sort of their reactions and their frustrations and their confusion and their anger and their disappointment and all of these things. And then we've got this man who's lived a life of really just bad, bad decisions, right? And so he is being punished by death on the cross. And while he and Jesus are enduring this painful punishment of death on the cross, they have this conversation. And during the conversation, the man chooses to believe in Jesus. And Jesus promises that that day, that man would be with him in paradise. So you look at the stark contrast, the disciples who believed in him and believed in him and believed in him are just feeling so frustrated and confused and disappointed. And here Jesus is promising paradise to this man on the cross. Jesus gave the man hope. And remember I talked about hope earlier this week, right? He had given that same hope to the disciples too, but they were confused by their circumstances. The man on the cross, his circumstances were making this hope very clear to him. So I don't know where you are. Um, you might, you know, have had faith and hope and hope and faith and now all of this is happening and you're just getting more and more frustrated and confused or maybe you are like the man on the cross you know you're just hit with this overwhelming moment where right now you need hope and Jesus is the one who can provide that that's the beauty of the Easter story is we can find our place in it we can find a moment to identify with it no matter where we're at so, so I want to remind us of that quote that I talked about before. Hope is the only thing stronger than fear. It's easy to be afraid, but Jesus is offering us a hope stronger than any of the fears that we face. So with that said, I have for you guys one more clue to your scavenger hunt. So this is what you're looking for. I love the colors in this picture. I think it's so cute. All right, so what you're gonna do is find the hidden Easter egg. That's what you're looking for. Find the hidden Easter egg. And they've given you colors down here. Once you figure out the color of the hidden Easter egg, you're going to find the number, okay? So you see the numbers attached to the colors. Once you pick the number, so let's say I picked number 23, you are going to move to your Clue Master Sheet and find the item number 23. Just like you've been doing all week, but just, just a reminder of how this works, all right? So I will see you guys. Tomorrow morning will be the last video that I release and it'll be the answer to this and a little bit of details about how Sunday will work and um, some follow-up information. So I will see you guys in the morning.